And if humans are the creation of extraterrestrials, as ancient astronaut theorists suggest, might they have initially created us as biological entities in order to limit our lifespan until we are ready to become like them? There are very interesting things about how similar to a machine the body is. If you injure certain parts of the brain, the body breaks down like a machine. You can injure a tendon or a joint, and then that part of the machine doesn't function anymore. So we have to look at the possibility that life is not necessarily what we've considered it to be. There is a possibility that if we create computers with enough complexity, that consciousness could actually breathe life into that inanimate substance, and you have a robotic consciousness that has become something we would think of as a person. In ancient story after ancient story, we see references of extraterrestrial seeking to to those questions. Is it possible that otherworldly beings yelling, are leading evil. mankind not only to evolve off Earth, but ultimately to a destiny of joining them in the stars as non-biological entities? <laughs> and could it be that our in cell phones, the internet, and even synthetic body parts is part of a vast extraterrestrial plan. One that will see humans become more and more assimilated into the very technology we have grown so dependent upon. Perhaps mankind's destiny is not to have a close encounter with its ancestor, but with our future selves. And perhaps when that day comes, Human beings, as we now know them, will be thought of as little more than obsolete operating systems.